Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? As you can see here, we have some new additions to the Rod and Reel Arsenal. I want to share those with you guys today. Stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, before we get into the Rods and Reels, a couple things I want to clear up on the last video talking about this wall here. I'm um, trying to find more room for all the tackle that I have here. Uh, one thing I want to clear up, the boat is completely empty. There's nothing in my boat. I will be loading the boat, hopefully, in a couple weeks, looking at the weather. We're going back down. I um, thought we were going up. We're going back down here. But um, I need to start loading the boat up the way it is ready for the season. But that's one reason I don't have any room in here, just because everything is in here. I mean, probably uh, you know a good amount of this, a third of this stuff will be in my boat, so I will have tons of room. But um, a lot of you guys ask, you know, do you keep anything in your boat or blah, 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 whatever it is, you know. Um, yes, I do keep my boat really, really stocked full if you guys have seen my boat tours. But again, as of right now, everything is in here. I'm just trying to reorganize everything, change hooks, things like that. And um, so that's why I do want to get everything up on this wall as well. The way I can see what I have when I do load my boat, I can grab this, grab that. I see what I got. Much easier to load the boat when you can see everything that you have. Anyways, that's a little update there. All right, for the gear, we got 11 new rods here, and we have a handful of new reels. I believe I got um, eight of each gear ratio in the uh, SX, Helos SX Baycaster, and then I got a few of the SX spinning reel. These are the spinning reels that I was using uh, last season with you guys. I don't believe you've seen those in any videos. I don't use much or spinning gear that much, but uh, Helios SX30 is what I use, comparable to like a 3,000 size or something like that, or 300, just depends on the the uh, real manufacturer and all that. But anyways, I like, like the 3,000 size spool. I used to run 4,000s and I cut back to 3,000 um, or 30 just because of the weight. But the bigger the spool, the less line issues you usually have. But again, I wanted this a little bit lighter reel, so I cut back to the 30 size reel. I'm going to open one of these up for you guys real fast. Nice looking spinning reel. And it's, it's a solid looking spinning reel. Or it is a solid, I'm not looking. It is a solid spinning reel as well. But it uh, feels great in hand. I mean, performs awesome. Smooth drag. But um, that is the, the SX30 right there. I mean, killer looking real, guys. So there it is there. Maybe we'll do a review on this one as well since I have been using this one um, for a year now. I can go ahead and do a review on that. And something else, speaking of reviews, I plan to do a lot of real reviews this year. And I think the first ones I want to do are the uh, the couple lose reels that I used last season, the uh, Custom and the Custom Pro. Now, what, what I want to hear from you guys is some feedback as far as what you're looking for. Like, I really don't want to sit down, do a video about the reel, and go over all the specs that you can read on the box or find on the, on the on their website, things like that. I just want to be honest, even if the video is only like two, three minutes, I just want to say, look, here's the reel, here's why I like it. If there's anything I don't like, let you know. And pretty much that's it. I just don't want to go on eight, ten minutes about specs that anybody can look up. Just, I just want to know, you know, I, I want you guys to know what line I used on it, how it performed with those lines, lures, you know, how the reel feels overall, brakes, just things like that that somebody would want to know or should want to know when they're buying a reel. Not really the specs was what you see usually in when guys review when guys review reels, the first thing they do is just run down, you know, all the specs and things like that that are on the box, which anybody can look up. I just want to give you guys my opinion, even if it's only a few minutes, that's what I want to give you guys, my opinion of the reel, and then you can just take it as you will, buy it if you want to. So anyways, just feedback down below on that, please. Anyways, that was the spinning reel, and then we got the um, the SX66 here. I got, uh, like I said, 866, and 8, and the 7.3. I believe they have the, uh, the 8 one as well. You guys know I like a slower gear ratio reel, but... Um, here it is here. Again, this is a, it's a killer looking reel. And uh, I have not used these yet, so I can't give you any feedback as far as how they handle and all that. But I can give you guys just a few comparisons compared to the original Helios. So I'll give you guys just a quick look at it right there. Kind of like a silver color, lots of flake in there. I mean, it's a really nice looking reel. Retail's kind of expensive. It's 220 for the reel. But I've been using the TCS reels now for at least... Three to four seasons, they're $199. I haven't had any issues at all with those reels. Solid reels for sure. But um, this reel, in particular, compared to the original Helios, handle is a little bit bigger, more bearings. Uh, what else you got here? 
different braking system, as well as, which I haven't tried yet, which that is really cool. Okay, they call this the static drag system. And what it does, it keeps the reel more compact, keeps the handle closer to the, the frame here. Because when you move that star drag, the parts are moving internally. The star drag itself is not moving in and out, again, which is keeping the handle closer to the body here, which again, keeps the reel just more compact. But that is pretty cool. No matter which way you move it, it does not move in and out. Like I said, just the parts are moving internally. So really cool reel, guys. I mean, it feels like butter. I can't wait to spool some of these up and get on the water with those. Again, this one here is a 6.6. And again, I got the, um, the 7.3. And I like, you know, I mean, I like lower gear ratio, gear ratio reels for almost anything. I know the benefits of using a faster or higher gear ratio reel. But just for me and how I like to fish, doing more power fishing, I mean, 6 speed is tough to beat. 7 speed I like anytime I'm using the rod to work to bait and things like that. But I mean, I'd much rather have a 6 speed in my hand for just the way that I like to fish. I mean, I was tempted just to get all 6 speed reels, but I know in some situations the 7 speed is the way to go or even an 8 speed. But I stayed away from the 8 speed just because again, you guys know how I like or what I like to fish with. So anyways, that's what we went with, but I mean, killer killer looking reel right here, guys. Really pumped to play around with that one. All right, as far as rods go, let's start with the, the lighter to the heavier rods. Now, first up, we do have a few spinning combos, and I do have, again, a few spinning combos from last season. And um, again, I don't think you guys see me even fish with those. I don't bring them out that often just because it's not how I like to fish. I'm not a tournament fisherman, so I mean, you know, I don't have to get bites out there. I mean, I'll, I'll force feed them a crankbait all day if I have to, just because that's how I want to catch them. To me, if the bite is super tough and I can crank for eight hours and I catch one fish at the end of the day, you know, I did it, you know, so I mean, I just, I love throwing a crankbait. That's how I'd rather catch them. But, you know, fishing with Phantom Fishing more and more, he is a tournament fisherman. Um, he, he's able to adapt to situations much better um, than I, I do just because I'm just stubborn. I don't want to. I don't want to throw a shaky head. I don't want to throw a drop shot, even though that that's what you need to do sometimes. I'd rather try and force feed them, you know, the baits that I want to fish. But I know I need to slow down more, do more finesse fishing. That is my goal this year to get more comfortable with finesse fishing. Um, most likely it'll be like a shaky head, which I do throw pretty often. But other than a shaky head, Nico rig, maybe some drop shot, things like that. But I, I just fish muddier water, which you guys know. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence in finesse type baits. But I do know where, I mean, if you fish a lake enough, you know where fish should be or where they're at. So if you soak a worm long enough, if you soak a drop shot long enough, eventually you will get bit on it if you're in the right area. So that's what I'm going to focus on more this year. But this rod here, is the it's rated drop shot grub shatter wrap shatter wraps what i had in mind to throw on this rod for a lot of guys using this rod for shatter wraps but um that and like i said a little bit shorter rod just in case i am vertical fishing a little shorter rod which will get the tip closer to my trolling motor which is where the transducer is so i didn't want like a seven and a half foot rod with the tip way out there then i have to stand further back so i i, I got the shorter rod really for that reason but i do plan to use it for like smaller cranks maybe real small poppers shatter wraps things like that but this one is the uh, this one here is a 610 medium power and I believe this one is a fast action rod I don't think they have that labeled on here but I believe it's a medium like I said fast action and a lot of guys too that I ain't saying it aggravates me but I think it confuses a lot of you guys okay power is the butt section of the rod okay you know depending what how fast the action is it will depend really where the tip you know comes into play whether it be a fast extra fast moderate fast as far as where the backbone stops and leads into the tip. But a lot of guys say, yeah, I got a medium action rod. Okay, well, medium is the power. Again, action is the tip. Okay, so I know that confuses a lot of guys. I see it in the comments all the time. So action of the rod, tip, medium, medium heavy, heavy, extra heavy, that's all the power. So when somebody says, I got a heavy power rod, okay, fast action, that's correct. If they say, I got a heavy action rod, uh, that really doesn't tell anybody anything because what tip speed were they using? Was it fast, extra fast, moderate? What baits were they throwing? I mean, I just think it's, you know, guys need to correct themselves when they do that because it confuses, um, especially the beginners when they're trying to figure out what rod to use. You know, there's plenty of heavy power rods out there, medium power rods out there with a bunch of different tips on them. So guys really need to explain what the action is to help you guys out. So anyways, this one here is medium power, and I do believe it's a fast action um, tip on this rod. So anyways, 610 and this one loads at this one here loads at an eighth and maxes out at three quarters. So anyways, that's what I'm going to use this rod for here. 
And uh, I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit faster. I want to dislike with that. I just I get talking and time flies by, and next thing you know, the video is half hour long. Then I'm trying to rush it, and you guys can't even understand what I'm saying, anyways. So, so, anyways, this right here, okay, I try and simplify it with these couple rods here. These are the same couple rods that I used last year. I believe these are a seven one. Okay, one is a medium, one's a medium heavy. I got two here. One's medium, one's medium heavy. Both fast action rods. Okay, the medium here loads at a sixteenth. The medium heavy loads at an eighth. Okay, this one here is rated drop shot grub. I believe the other one's rated. Uh, let me look real fast. I believe it's rated, yeah, tube shaky head. I, to be honest, don't pay a whole lot of attention to that. What I do is I look at the weight of the lure. That's what I do with a lot of things. Okay, if I'm going to try and throw a little eighth ounce shaky head, this medium power here, um, if I'm using lighter line, like it's rated um, six to 12 pound test. So if I'm using six or eight pound test, trying to throw a little 16th or eighth ounce shaky head, this would be the rod that's going to load up better and get me a, a better cast or a longer cast. If I'm going to use maybe a quarter ounce shaky head, maybe 12 pound test, the medium heavy is going to be where it's at. So again, I let the weight of the lure, and really the weight of the lure will help you with line size as well. So if you're going to try and throw something really light, you need light line. If you're going to throw something a little bit heavier, you can get away with throwing heavier line. So again, I let pound test and lure weight really determine, really lure weight comes first. Then I figure out my pound test, and then I figure out which rod I want to throw it on. Lighter lures, lighter line, medium, a little bit heavier lures, heavier line, medium heavy. I try and keep it that simple. I don't really pay attention to the specs on the rod just because, again, it's just medium, medium heavy. They both have a fast action rod. I just look at the lure weight. Okay. So for there, I mean, you guys know I don't try and simplify too much. For those, I try and keep pretty simple. Okay. From there we have, what is this one here? This one here, some of you guys asked about this rod recently. This one here is... This one here is the 6.8 medium, okay? I believe this one has a slower action, just like the 6.8 medium heavy, which is what I use for, for spinner baits. It's got a softer action rod, just like this one. And this one is rated for uh, top water and jerk bait. That's exactly what I use it for. I have another one of these rods as well I used last year. Great for little smaller poppers. I've thrown shad wraps on it as well. Shad wraps can be tough to throw. If you throw a lot enough line on them, you can throw them you know, with a bait caster just fine. But uh, like I said, small little jerk baits, top water poppers, Things of that nature is what this rod is great for. Again, it's got a softer action to it. Um, great for um, any smaller baits with uh, with treble hooks. Some of you guys asked about a 1.5 on this rod. It can be done. This is, um, let's see, it maxes out at three quarter. Um, I think KVD 1.5 is like 7 16 half ounce. So it can def definitely handle the weight. I just prefer just a little more power to uh, to the rod for my square bills. But if, you know, if in a pinch, if this is the rod you wanted to use, if you wanted this rod because you throw top waters and jerks more. Um, yes, you can still throw square balls on it as well. I just prefer a little bit heavier rod for that, but it can get it done in a pinch if you, if you had to. So anyways, that is that rod right there. From there we go to, I have one of these, just because I don't use that often. I have one other one, then I have this one here. And this is a cranking rod. You can tell on the EVX full grip here. This one here is a medium power, loads at an eighth, maxes out at five eighths. Again, it's just a great rod for lighter crankbaits, lighter lines. So if I'm going to throw, um, I don't know why I would throw on there, um, little small, uh, little small square bills, whatever it may be. Um, a DT6 is usually put on the medium heavy. Just something that's usually around a quarter or so, I like to put on this rod here just because it loads up much better than the medium heavy, even though the medium heavy loads up at a quarter as well. This one, since it loads at an eighth, it just loads up much easier with lighter weights, and you just get a little bit further cast. So lighter cranks, I like to put on this rod. Again, lighter line. Normally I have 10-pound test on this setup here, and normally 12 to 15 on a medium heavy. Again, as far as which one I'm going to choose, just depends weight of lure and line diameter. That's pretty much it. You know, 10-pound test, usually this one. Smaller cranks, 12 to 15. Um, heavier cranks, medium heavy. I try and keep it that simple. But um, great rods here, guys. I mean, I think these are like 109. Awesome cranking rod here, very soft. I hardly use any fish on them at all. I mean, it's it really is a great rod. Can't beat it for the price. So that was the medium. Again, medium heavy. I got three of them here. I got a couple of these from last season. Um, I like them so much that I said I pick up a few more. Uh, the TCS I used all the time, and I still use it to this day. But I talk about this crank around more just because I just had um, I seen better luck with it. But 
uh, since it loads at a quarter, the TCS loads at three eighths. I can just do more with this rod. So I tend to I tend to use these more just for that reason. I can put more cranks on this rod versus the TCS as that TCS again loads at three eighths. This one loads at a quarter. You just get a better cast with a little bit lighter lure. So anyways, that's why I'm kind of leaning more towards these. But the TCS guys is still a like killer cranking rod. I love it. But um, again, just for that reason, that's why I've been using these more. And again, I got a few of these here for this season. From there, again, we got three of these as well. This rod now, I have never used before. Now, you guys have heard me talk about the, I believe it's the 7.2, 7.2 medium heavy fast action rod. It's actually rated as a, I think, a swim jig chatterbait rod. That, and I've got videos on that, which I'll link down below. That's to me, is one of my most versatile rods. I mean, I can throw, again, Texas rigs on it, lighter jigs on it. Um, again, chatterbaits, uh, swim jigs, I've thrown shaky heads on it. I mean, it's a rod that I can do so much on, you know what I mean? And this rod here is the same, pretty much the same rod as that one, but up a power. This one is a heavy power. It's rated frogs, jigs, or what's it? I can't, can't read upside down. It's rated football, jigs, frog, and flipping. That's what it's rated. And um, I'm just going to use it for Texas rigs and jigs. Again, this is a 7.2 heavy uh, 12, 25 pound test, quarter to an ounce. Again, heavy power, fast action rod. But um, I got three of these here to spool up. Probably run 15 to 17 pound test on these. Again, Texas rig, jigs, and things like that. And let's see how they compare to the medium heavy. Obviously, they're going to be, obviously, it's a stronger rod, so it should be much easier, again, to, like I said, drag fish out of cover and things like that. But um, I just like the feel of the medium heavy, so we'll see how this one plays out on the water. Anyways, that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did, and we will see you guys on the next one.